Hi, I thought we'd just take a quick look at the new lightning connector that came with the, the iPhone 5 alongside the old 30 pin connector um, partly because I was very surprised when I got the new lightning connector out of the the uh, packaging at how small it was um, all the pictures I'd seen um, were, were quite large, large pictures of it and it's very difficult to to in your mind imagine how small that is. So to to start off with there's the existing 30 pin connector and next to it this is the lightning connector. So as you can see one is absolutely tiny in comparison to the other. Now the other thing um, that is really really good with with the lightning connector um, is it's solid all the way around okay so it's it's not like the the old one where you actually have a cavity through the middle um, and your connectors are actually in that cavity but this is solid and you've got the the connection pads on either side of the connector and what is really good, and one of my pet hates with the other one, was the fact that you know it wasn't very well marked up and it had to go a specific way into the phone. Well, with the lightning connector, literally, it will go in either way around. So, as far as that goes, absolutely brilliant. You know, that's going to be a lot easier to get in in the dark. Um, than the 30 pin dock connector and I imagine that when some of the accessory manufacturers come along and they actually build that into um, a dock of some some form it's going to be a lot easier to locate the, the phone on that than on the, the 30 pin connector so when you take a look in, in the bottom of the phone here as you can see it is just a hole in the base of the phone whereas in the old one you had this small row of connectors in there that the plug used to sit over and I used to really really worry about how delicate that could be fortunately I've never broken one so you know size and strength and usability I actually like what I really really hate though is the fact that you know up until now all of the Apple devices have used this 30 pin connector so you know I've got what five or six of these connectors now my car kit has one of these on it uh, my one's always plugged in on the computer I've got one one by the bed for charging um, my iPad uses it and now all of a sudden you know this thing turns up and I know that you can get adapters, but you know they're they're bulky, and you'll have to clip them on, clip them off. Um, so for charging the two devices, I'm either going to end up with with two two chargers plugged in, or I'm going to end up swapping these back and forth. Certainly until the next generation of iPads come out with a Lightning connector, if I'm incentivized to to upgrade the iPad. So I think um, this is going to be a bit of a love hate relationship with this connector. Um, you know, I'm going to love using it day to day, um, particularly overnight, because it's it's going to be a lot easier to use. But you know, having to swap around between this and the fact that I'm going to have to buy more of these, that I'm going to hate. Um, hey ho, that's progress for you.